my uh, pleasure and great honor uh, to give a talk in, in this special meeting which congratulate uh, Professor Nakahara. Uh, Nakahara is a happy retirement. Uh, actually, uh, before starting my talk, I'd like to um, introduce uh, my uh, collaborators of the upper uh, people residing in, in, in the uh, top uh, the, uh, group, group members <coughs> in my, uh, and those people are I think <coughs> kind of active collaborator in this uh, recent years <coughs> I thank uh, those people for all the research which I am presenting today uh, without them, you know, this, uh, I cannot uh, present today. And uh, <coughs> uh, this symposium, the uh, title of this symposium is something like uh, uh, Perspective um, Future of uh, Solution Chemistry. So I just start from some kind of a uh, comment on solution chemistry. <coughs> Actually, chemistry is uh, concerned with the uh, molecular structure, electronic structure, and reactions, chemical reactions, biomolecules, etc., etc., many. All those are somehow concerned with the uh, intramolecular uh, aspect of molecules. And solutions, which is of course liquids, uh, characterized by the many body problems and uh, some dynamics, especially entropy, and non-equilibrium process, etc., etc., which are, uh, in many cases, uh, concerned with the uh, uh, intramolecular, uh, intermolecular degrees of freedom. And those solution chemi in solution chemistry, those two inter intra and intermolecular degrees of freedom interplay. And sometimes it, uh, many uh, interesting behavior occurs, uh, crossover and so forth. So uh, all the chemistry and biochemistry in the real world are taking place in solutions. So I think uh, solution chemistry is one of the most uh, exciting and interesting field. Actually, this is a little uh, History of solution chemistry. Uh, I made this uh, uh, slide in, in my occasion of uh, in the occasion of my uh, sixth birthday. So this is very much uh, biased. And uh, uh, statistical. I, I just uh, have uh, made this slide from a statistical mechanics uh, viewpoint. Um, so it doesn't include. Uh, 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 Molecular simulation, but you know, it's not. I, I don't mean uh, to be to to to, to uh, embarrass people in uh, molecular simulation. Just too many molecular simulation works. I mean, it's, it's impossible to do uh, On the, the left hand side, uh, I listed kind of a historical uh, event on the uh, thermodynamics of solution and. There are many important works done by, say, Van der Waals or Van Hoff and Arrhenius, etc., etc. Those are our starting point. And but uh, the work which is more or less uh, related to molecular science is done by Bernard and Frank Wendt and some of those people in in 1950s, was <coughs> the 40s and 50s. These are our starting point for molecular theory, I mean, in the, in the experimental side. And in the theoretical side, statistical mechanics theory is started by Joseph Mayer and John Carpenter, etc., etc. And now we are still uh, talking about the uh, molecular structure uh, in solution. And in the dynamic side, uh, in the phenomenology, uh, 
Brownian motion and the stock prosperity of Corvallis, etc. Those uh, phenomenology actually stimulated the theoretical works, the theoretical works, and uh, uh, but actually uh, <coughs> the molecular uh, Professor Nakahara did a very important work, especially in the rotational dynamics, uh, solitary dynamics of, of uh, molecules in, in water and so on, etc. and also uh, engine synchronicity. And uh, also pressure effect. Those are uh, uh, experiments are very in the course of this uh, uh, solution uh, dynamics, and I think this becomes a starting point of our theory course. So I today I my, my talk is mostly concerned with the uh, uh, bio uh, element, uh, life element. There are two element, elementary molecular processes which characterize uh, life in One is a uh, self-organization. Uh, this, this is nothing but the free energy, energy minimizing process. Protein folding, membrane formation, fusion, etc. And uh, molecular recognition, uh, which is a uh, uh, ligand binding, protein DNA interaction, and ion channel enzymatic uh, reaction, which is uh, character characterized by the difference between two state uh, inside the uh, bound state and uh, bulk state. But uh, those are those processes are driven control, driven control and regulated by solar. Let me illustrate the problem what, what the problem is. Uh, this is this is a kind of a cartoon of uh, uh, protein channel, ion channel in memory and because the uh, ion channel, function of ion channel is to permeate ions through this uh, uh, from one side to the other side of uh, memory and in this case uh, of course the ion in the bulk are somehow hydrated <laughs> and moving with those hydrated, hydrated shells and when it comes into the channel, usually it, uh, it should dehydrate uh, those mo uh, molecules. So this process is nothing but the uh, molecular recognition. And in this case, the hydration of energy uh, becomes very important. And uh, uh, dynamics, uh, those, you know, uh, I have dynamics of those ions which come into this place is usually uh, described by radio dynamics in the literature. Uh, but in this uh, radio dynamics, you have, to you have to give some number, uh, friction constant. But this friction constant is a phenomenological one, and you have to give uh, some uh, phenomenological uh, diameter, why? Otherwise, you cannot solve this equation. So, this uh, phenomenological equation is very important. And, but, you know, uh, ion, in the ion conduction in the solution, uh, there are very puzzling behavior, which, which is, you know, uh, when the friction is plotted against ion radii, uh, when ion radii is la uh, uh, larger, then it is this behavior is taken care of by phenomenological Stokes friction, Stokes Einstein model. But this part is entirely anti Stokes behavior, anti Stokes Einstein behavior. This, this, has a, this problem has fascinated many people. And uh, also, Professor Nakahara uh, did a lot of work with this uh, problem. <coughs> What had prevented the statistical method from being applied to life phenomena for a long time? Actually, this is a uh, problem I have been uh, concerned with for life. 
and uh, my, my older life. Uh, problem is water and water solution. Uh, this is a you know, problem which has not been solved for a long time because it is a hydrogen bonding liquid. So hydrogen bond network, orientation of the of freedom, those problems have not been solved for a long time. But it, it, it was solved by, uh, with the recent theory uh, to which uh, David uh, Chandra David Chandra and Hans Andersen uh, formulated this first. And then we, uh, uh, myself and uh, Professor Roski, is in the audience, uh, actually made this theory to uh, really applicable to chemistry. And uh, biomolecules, this, you know, in the life you have to always uh, uh, concern with the biomolecules. Uh, this is a heteropolymer, many but uh, finite intramolecular divisor freedom. Many divisor freedom, but it is finite. And stru uh, st structural fluctuation is also very important. So uh, in this case, if it is in the in the in the uh, vacuum or or isolated, then usual mechanics or uh, quantum mechanics of the experiments here. Quantum mechanics. Uh, could be uh, used. But when more, those, those molecules, big molecules, are in uh, aqueous solution, this is a small, many body system in a solvent with infinitely large degrees of freedom. Uh, in this case, you know, these two problems are combined and interplay each other. Very, very it makes very, very difficult problems. But so to solve this problem, we uh, devised some, some theory called the 3D mission, uh, which, which uses so called Parker's trick. Parker's trick. Uh, <coughs> this theory is, uh, sees the problem like a nonlinear perturbation from a, a biomolecule to solve this division. This is a, a very concise uh, representation of a, uh, a three-dimensional reason theory. This H gamma R is the uh, correlation, uh, pair correlation function, and uh, C alpha gamma R is a so-called direct correlation function. We, if we see this one as a uh, perturbation, a renormalized perturbation, and this one is a distribution response to this perturbation. This, so this is a response function. And uh, this response function can be uh, the uh, pair correlation, uh, density pair correlation function of uh, uh, pure liquid. And this can be calculated from recent theory. So, using these theories, we can solve this equation to get uh, solvent distribution around a big molecules like uh, protein and DNA. Uh, this is the distribution of water. Which, uh, uh, pair correlation function of water. This is an input to the theory. You know, I, I don't explain this one then because I think many all the old people here knows how it is. Using this theory, we can we could have uh, calculate the uh, thermodynamics, especially uh, partial molar volume uh, for many proteins which is plotted here uh, against the uh, molecular weight, partial molar volume molecular weight of many proteins. Uh, now, this uh, uh, X mark is experiment, and this uh, uh, black dot with the uh, uh, theoretical calculation. As you can see, this result is almost uh, perfect, I mean, perfect agreement, quantitative agreement. I think uh, this is the almost first uh, result which shows, which statistical mechanics result, which shows uh, a quantitative, quantitative, quantitative agreement of the uh, experiment. <coughs> we encouraged by this uh, result, we have done some uh, calculation of uh, 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 distribution of water uh, around the uh, Protein. This is the uh, 
and egg white on the right side. And this, uh, this represents the uh, uh, distribution of water around proteins. Uh, this is the distribution of oxygen around the protein. And we have, I have I plotted three different uh, uh, distribution, just changing the criteria or threshold of distribution. Two, four, eight. So uh, if, if you go this way, this you know uh, what you can see. Uh, uh, distribution which you can see here is uh, very strongly bound with uh, the protein. These are more or less kind of what's weakly coupled, weakly bound, and moving around. This is just a, another presentation. And uh, uh, we are very uh, getting uh, result very we are very happy getting this with the, 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 this result. But um, what was surprised what surprised us was this result. This one this is the uh, water distribution inside protein, not the uh, outside. This is a, a very deep inside cavity. Protein, a cavity deep inside uh, protein, and uh, you know this uh, uh, green spot is again again the uh, 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 water oxygen, and purple spot represents the uh, uh, water hydrogen. If you draw more neater way, this is the result, and you know you can see clearly water distribution here uh, in the train. Uh, this is the uh, same uh, distribution obtained from uh, X-ray uh, crystallography. So you know you can see uh, uh, almost perfect agreement for this result. We can also do similar calculation to get the uh, uh, ion distribution inside protein. So these are uh, uh, different. Uh, mutant of uh, uh, human lifestyle, and <coughs> we did this um, uh, calculation for the distribution of ions, and we see clearly the distribution of this is a sodium ion, this is yellow sodium ion, and this is a calcium ion. So overall, here. so we could now uh, uh, do the calculation, which can realize the, the uh, ion distribution inside the channel or ion binding inside the uh, uh, protein. So using uh, those uh, theory, we, we have done many, many uh, programs already and uh, got a lot of results. I, I don't have enough time today uh, showing all those results, so I just concentrate on this one particular subject, particular topics, uh, which is something to do with the uh, ion channel, uh, which is in the uh, uh, virus molecule, uh, virus. Uh, actually, this is a, a, a cartoon of virus, uh, influenza virus, and this virus has uh, some uh, char channel, and uh, of course as well as other uh, proteins and so forth. Uh, in, in order to kill this virus, there are two, uh, two medicines are uh, uh, devised. One is amatadine, which blocks uh, ion channel, proton channel. It's called M2 block. The channel is uh, look like a uh, very simple uh, hair expander. And uh, tamiflu block in inhibit uh, some more uh, protein called uh, neuraminidase, neuraminidase. And this is very popular, so every people knows uh, this uh, tamiflu already. Uh, but also there is uh, some important uh, drug is uh, uh, created uh, by the company, which is called so we now we are talking about this M2 uh, block channel, uh, M2 channel block uh, protein. Uh, this uh, protein, I mean uh, channel, has four histidines in the uh, gating region, 
and uh, this uh, histidine has a different PKA. So each histidine is automated at different pH, of course. And uh, when pH is greater than 7.5, uh, what about the neutral case, uh, channel is closed. But when uh, pH is greater than less than 6.5, uh, acidic side, channel is open. So uh, proton can uh, permeate through the channel. Uh, this open opening occurs due to the uh, uh, phonon interaction between protons, repulsive phonon interaction uh, proton. And this We have uh, done calculation uh, of uh, water and proton distribution, uh, hydrogen ion uh, distribution in this uh, protein. And this is and changing the uh, uh, protonation state. This is no histidine protonate. This figure shows no histidine is protonated. Uh, okay. The, the uh, coordinates were uh, uh, prepared by molecular dynamic simulation, uh, just uh, leaving for a long time uh, without a uh, uh, way, uh, without a uh, system protonate. <coughs> and in this case, a uh, water distribution uh, uh, greater than, G greater than 1 is pro uh, 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 protonated here, in, drawn here. And this uh, blue spot, spot uh, the uh, water distribution. And here, uh, hydronium ion Protected by red uh, spot, red surface. So in this case, you know you, can, you, can, you don't see many distribution, much distribution around uh, this uh, gating region, histidine region. And when you increase the uh, uh, protonated state, one H to H, uh, then you, you will see gradually seeing some water molecules are kind of sneaking into this region. And the state of 3H, water molecules just come into the channel. And uh, as well as proton, proton also comes into the channel. So uh, now in this stage, proton can permeate through the channel. 4H, H2. If you plot the potential beam force inside the channel, <coughs> uh, uh, these are the protonated state, and this is the water, this water potential beam force. For three protonated states, uh, you, you, don't, you have a very large uh, potential gap, so water cannot go through this channel. But uh, uh, three, pro three histidine protonated state and four histidine protonated state uh, certainly uh, negative potential beam force, water can, can be inside the channel all the way. And uh, <coughs> proton, uh, in the proton case, again, the, uh, up to two histidine uh, protonated state, uh, potential beam force is very large, uh, you know, dri driving force. <coughs> and very, very interesting uh, finding here, right? the observation here. Uh, for each case, for, for, protonate, uh, pro, for histidine protonate case has higher value than three histidine protonate case, right? You can see here. This is due to interplay of two effects. Uh, uh, channel gate opening, higher protonate state will have a high, uh, more channel gate opening due to the repulsive interaction. But also, uh, there is a repulsion between proton and channel. So these two uh, effects are interplaying to make this uh, uh, difference. Okay. Now I come into this uh, main topic today. <coughs> of course, the, uh, the, the, this molecular recognition problem is very important to, to talk about also the dynamics too. Uh, 
I, in this case, I will, I will, talk, I will be talking about the uh, dynamics of protein conjugated to solvent fractionation. Uh, this is a still a progressive model, but uh, I think we can see some uh, future perspective in this theory. So I will, I will talk about this. But before that, I have to just uh, review or uh, overview the uh, theory itself. The larger one we I used, we used general random one theory combined with the three-dimensional systems. So, uh, but the, uh, how general random one theory works is the following. You know, we start from the review equation and uh, select, select selecting uh, variable in the phase space called the dynamic variable on which all other degrees of freedom are uh, projected by using this projection operator here. And from due to this projection operator, you can just uh, project this uh, living, living equation to get a uh, larger uh, type equation called the general larger equation. Now, I, I will not want to skip all the things, but anyway, important thing for this uh, uh, dynamic equation is that uh, we have to choose proper dynamic variable. I will say, I will uh, uh, mention it later, but anyway. In, the, in our case, density and momentum fields of atoms and molecules are chosen. Atoms and atoms of molecules. So this alpha uh, uh, means an uh, atom of, say, water molecules, hydrogen water molecules. So the density field and conjugated momentum field. And uh, we, we, we project everything onto this uh, variable to get the general Landman equation for atomic density and atomic uh, flux. In this equation, you can, uh, you know, you, this FKT is a, a dynamic structure factor, an intermediate dynamic structure, so called intermediate dynamic. And this, this uh, structure factor and also the, the structure factor the time zero uh, can be calculated using the recent theory. Because here, H alpha gamma alpha beta k is the structure factor in the equilibrium uh, state, and this can be calculated from this. One. So, this way we can combine uh, dynamic theory with the equilibrium state. Theory of equilibrium state. So, well, how, how this is obtained was that we used the, the, uh, the uh, uh, atomic density as a dynamic variable. That is why, that is why we could combine this theory two theories. And uh, there are, I, I will give you some example how the how it works. Actually, when you use this type of uh, <coughs> representation. It is not so easy to, to, to uh, extract the, 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 the uh, rotational or translational dynamics. So what, how we see this rotational translational dynamics using this representation is, is uh, illustrated by this figure. When two atoms in a molecule is moving in the same direction, this is a translational motion, and two atoms are moving in the opposite direction, this can be a rotation motion. This is the way we, we see this uh, motion. And this, can, this uh, rotational and translational dynamics can be extracted by uh, using uh, solving dynamic value problem for this matrix uh, called a collective frequency. And this is the, the result. <coughs> Uh, this, is, uh, this is the result for translational dynamics, uh, which we call acoustic dynamics. And uh, this is the longitudinal frequency against uh, uh, frequency. And this is optical dynamics, rotational dynamics, longitudinal uh, current spectrum against the frequency. And from this uh, you know, peak, peak position and uh, frequency, uh, uh, these are uh, wave vectors, peak position of wave vector, 
plotting all those uh, quantities, we can get the uh, dispersion relation, okay? wave vector and frequency. And uh, here, there are very famous uh, things happen. I mean, from the, the limiting slope of this uh, 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 dispersion relation, you can get the uh, velocity. And this, this limiting slope uh, uh, gives the uh, ordinary sound velocity, normal sound velocity. But this velocity, this, uh, this pattern may cross over to, to give higher uh, velocity, sound velocity. So this is a, this crossover is very uh, interesting. And it was already, uh, measurement was already brought down by Italian people using the synchrotron radiation this crossover. So we could have predicted this crossover using the combined listening and general number theory. And this is the first fast sound velocity is already uh, still very uh, interesting, I mean uh, high hot pro uh, problem. The, the other problem which we, we, are look, we looked at using the general algebra theory combined with the uh, 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 listen theory was this uh, iodynamics, which I have shown, iodynamics in water, which I have shown in the beginning, uh, with this uh, anti stokes behavior. Uh, this problem was looked at by many people, uh, physicists as well as the uh, chemists. How physicists see this problem is that uh, the following: you know, when ion moves to to uh, ion, this is that uh, after ion moves one from this position to this position, then polarization should uh, relax to uh, I mean central symmetry to to make a sense, I mean uh, central symmetry. And uh, so this uh, uh, the, the, the uh, dissipation associated with, with this relaxation causes the friction. So if the ion becomes bigger, uh, you know, this friction becomes smaller. This is the reason, the reason why we see this uh, anti-stroke speed. Also, uh, the chemist, how can we see this problem is that uh, uh, this is so-called the uh, solvent bar model. When I have a small ion is Water. This is high, very strongly hybrid, and it moves with uh, this uh, hydrated ion moves up together in the solution. So this is the effective radius of ion. Uh, this uh, hydrated ion is the effective radius of ion. And when ion becomes bigger, this hydration shell becomes smaller. So that again, this. We have done uh, the same the calculation using the theory which I have described. Uh, we, could, we could get anti stokes behavior here, of, as well as the stokes behavior, and there is a crossover here. I, I don't explain all those curves, but anyway, uh, we, could ex uh, we could reproduce anyway the experimental results. The more interesting thing was that this figure. Uh, this is the uh, uh, velocity autocorrelation function plotted against the, uh, against the uh, time. And you can see when the ion is very big, you can only see uh, monotonical decay, as you can you, you expect. But when ion becomes very small, you, know, you, you, have, you can see very uh, sharp oscillation. How it can be, you know, this, this is saying that ion is back, uh, moving back and forth, oscillating. Okay. How it can be, how, how it can happen in the diffusion process? This is due to this ion hydration. When ion is uh, in the water, at its height, it has a very sharp hydration peak. And uh, ion, small ion can move within the uh, hydration shell back and forth. So 
this period while uh, this ion is oscillating actually uh, is the uh, relaxation time of, of this uh, uh, hydration shell. Okay, the, the other, uh, another uh, example for simple molecule is that the uh, uh, pressure effect on the dynamics, so dynamics uh, parameters, viscosity uh, uh, and diffusion constant. This is a uh, 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 inverse of diffusion constant, so this is a friction. And, and uh, time correlation, uh, rotation time correlation function. Point is that in, in, the, in the, uh, the very simple uh, dipolar liquid like acetonitrile, if, if you plot those quantities against a pressure, it shows monotonic behavior, monotonic increase. This is nothing but the uh, Stokes Einstein law. But if you plot those things in, in water, I mean, the water case, those, those quantities in water case, it shows very, sh I mean, high nonlinear, I mean, non uh, Stokes Einstein uh, behavior. Uh, we have look at this problem also using the general this one and general algebra equation theory. We, we see also similar behavior, uh, very Stokes Einstein type like behavior in in uh, a method of an acetonitrile, so solvent in acetonitrile, uh, which shows uh, Stokes Einstein behavior. But if you calculate uh, method of in water then you have a very strong uh, anti-stokes behavior. Uh, by the way, these are simulations done by uh, Indian group. So, listen, you combined with the general other equation doing uh, pretty well for a pretty small molecule. But now what we are interested in the problem which I have shown, I have uh, explained in the beginning, dynamics of a uh, pro protein conjugated with the solvent dynamics. So protein is, when protein moves, of course, the, uh, that motion should create some kind of perturbation to, uh, to solvent. And when solvent moves, protein should also be influenced by this, uh, uh, protein structure should be influenced by protein. So it's a conjugated motion or correlated motion. We have to solve this problem. In this case, the choice of variables, dynamic variables in the in the uh, phase space, uh, is is this. This is what we have chosen: uh, position of protein atoms, moment of protein atoms, and density of solvent atoms, moment of moment of solvent atoms. This is a essentially fraction of solvent. And get. Uh, there's four equations. Uh, these two, first two are uh, concerned with the uh, protein dynamics, structural dynamics of protein. And this is the uh, density, uh, solvent density, uh, dynamics of, of, of solvent, solvent density. Okay. And of course, it, uh, there are a lot of quantities shared, shared in, in equation each other. So these are very much correlated. And, and especially interesting, uh, we are now trying to solve this equation, but uh, you know this is a very complicated equation. Uh, we, we, it takes us probably another few years, but anyway, uh, we see at this level, we see a very interesting feature of the equation. The first one, I mean very important one is this uh, factor. This uh, term. Uh, in this term, this is a. If you put this into here and uh, this into here, and then and you know what this this terms, then you will see it is like a, a normal mode equation, equation of oscillator. So this part is nothing but the uh, Hessian of the, this equation, and this. This L is 
consists of variance covariance metrics of uh, protein code, protein fracturation, okay, whole nature of fracturation of protein. So our strategy, this is my future uh, perspective for the protein dynamics. Uh, what you have hypothesis to solve the equation. Uh, one for each time step. I, I actually I'm, we are we are trying to solve this equation just like a, a molecular dynamics, namely integrating what uh, dividing time into delta t. For each time step delta t protein structure is at local equilibrium, and the fluctuation around the equilibrium follows the central limiting theorem. Uh, then we can use the Gaussian uh, fluctuation. Uh, due to Ga Gaussian fluctuation, the co uh, covariant matrix can be the second derivative of the free energy of protein. Uh, free energy protein con is consist of, uh, consists of a conformation of energy plus a ratio of energy with respect to protein atom positions. The solvation of free energy of protein and its derivatives can be evaluated from the 3 d reason. Uh, since the time step delta t is sufficiently short, the memory term can be approximated with a short time memory for which exponential functional form can be applied. Uh, the perturbation of the solution from protein can be treated by a uh, renormalized re potential of the direct relation. So, in the future, we, I may be able to report the result of this equation, but we, we have only very small result for now, just for the uh, normal mode analysis. You know, only, only this part. With that, we will not have all those things. Uh, Random force and uh, memory. Okay, uh, we have done some small calculation to get uh, this uh, normal mode. Uh, you see, uh, in this case, in our case, our, our free energy is consists of our energy is consists of uh, configuration, uh, conformation of energy plus uh, solvation of energy. <coughs> and so, Hessian Hessian matrix in our case consists of two uh, terms. And, uh, and also those two terms, I can, can, uh, the first term can be calculated just by from a molecular mechanics. And uh, the second term can be calculated using the three-dimensional reason theory. This is the first derivative of free, uh, uh, this uh, free energy in the uh, so, 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 so really second, uh, second derivative. And uh, this, uh, this second derivative in, Includes some uh, derivative of uh, distribution function, pair correlation function. And this pair correlation function, derivative of pair correlation function, can be uh, calculated using the uh, method proposed by uh, Martin Harper School, and we can use that uh, scheme. So, this is the result. <coughs> uh, this is a special density of normal model, very, very small molecule, a high peptide molecule. And this uh, green curve is the vacuum, and this red curve is, is uh, uh, calculated from 3 ds or uh, taking second derivative of the uh, free energy. Uh, it it looked not very big difference, actually, in this scale, this is not so big, but uh, if you see, just look at this part and expand this region, then you will see more big difference, bigger difference. And you see a uh, spectrum shift and uh, also the intensity becomes a uh, lot different. We, we, we haven't done the analysis, uh, entire analysis yet, so we can, like, we are now doing also uh, not only this, but also uh, big protein, not big, uh, PTI, uh, to, to see how the solvent effect comes into this uh, uh, normal world of proteins. I think
think that's all for my talk today. Uh, thank you for, for your attention. And uh, many thanks to Professor Nagahara Nakama, for his contribution to the solution chemistry in Japan. Thank you very much.
the issue of the uh, transparency for the potential of mean force of the proton. Uh, you should have a uh, pulse like detection as well as the pipe gap type of pattern. This is what? Yeah, yeah, this one. This, in this calculation, in this calculation, the uh, con conformation of the protein itself, channel itself, is fixed. Fixed. So, uh, what happens if you, if the uh, protein, uh, no, no, if the protein responds to the presence of the high uh, protein? I mean, the, uh, if you For, do as, 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 as long as this as long as, the yeah, yeah. Yeah, as, long as this, this uh, protein is concerned with, I don't think there are too much difference as if, if you relax or not. But there are some problems which you have to be very careful, very careful about that. So that's why we are <laughs> trying to I mean, uh, develop the theory for protein dynamics. But in this case, particular case, uh, it's not a big problem. Any more questions? So, oh, thank you. Thank you very much.